In Jesus Christ's name, our Savior. Most High Daddy. In Jesus Christ's name, we open this letter that we read. Through our different languages that we understand. Give us intelligence to understand. In order to understand everything abide in it. Through the power of your Holy Spirit. Let us practice them before you. In order to belong to you. Your saved one. The one that you redeem. The one who can enter your kingdom. In Jesus Christ's name. Do you see what we've just read? Because it points out five different things and he who believes should practice them. If he doesn't, he can't be saved. Here is the first thing. And the letter of Peter is saying that to put it away 
All malice. All malice. All rough. At your club. And all guile. Mimo Kanira. We saw the malice. But the one who is wicked gets angry. And we see the guile. It becomes two. And we see the guile. The third thing is insincerity or hypocrisy. To do something and hide them, hide it, hide it. Don't allow someone to see it. If something is good, can we hide it? God is forbid not to do bad things as insincerity. We have three elements. Here is the fourth. Envy. Envy his neighbor's life. Envy his neighbor. So is the fourth element. And all slanders. All those five things. If one of them abides in someone's life, he belongs to the devil. It's all those bad element things that transform a human being to devil. That's why Peter said, to put them away. Put away guile. Put away malice and insincerity. Put away hypocrisy, hidden things. And also put away envy and all different slanders. And different slanders are to talk to people, to talk about people differently. These five things destroy human life. Among these five things, if only one abides in someone's life, no one can see him as human being. We can call him as the son of God. Is it a wicked? Knows, recognize God. Is the, the one who used to deceive? Is, it, is he God's son? Is someone who covers and protects what he did at bad thing? Is he a good man? Is someone who is angry against his neighbor, his neighbor, is he also a good man? And the one who used to criticize and used to slander his neighbor, is he man? God? Pierre, on a widow. Mais il crie si ton lèque. Ni ben, on a ton et l'aide dans un bazame. 
That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why Peter cited about five things. How many of those things abide, still abiding in your life? Is it one, two, three, four, or five of them, all of them? If you have only one in your life, it means that you are equal with Satan and you are heading to the same hell. Nous sommes dans la maison, nous sommes dans la vie, nous sommes dans la vie, nous sommes dans la vie, nous sommes dans la vie. All those five things transform a human being into a son belonging to the fire of hell. Mais les cadeaux nous sommes dans la vie, 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 mais nous sommes dans la vie, 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 nous sommes dans la vie. On this earth, those that we qualified as very intelligent, very cunning, it is the latter who brought in their heart all those five things. Contrary to what people used to say, they are ignorant, they are very silly. The second verse told us that. Like you to learn them by heart as lesson and be observing your life and observing your life that if you if you want abide in your life you mean that you belong to that bad aspect of thing. The second verse said, I know like, like new ba newborn babies, Launch for the pure spiritual meek. Now many more things to go. I know we go meet on the no meeting. My body dali. Bo when bo ga bo when ado ga. In order to take by this pure spiritual meek that you are sucking to get salvation. Launch for the spiritual breast milk as new thing every time. And through, and through this milk sucking to get salvation, to get mature, spiritually speaking. Do you see all those five things done on which Peter sent a letter? It's all those five elements that change our daily church as devilish one. Whatever you are, whomsoever you are, and only one of those five things abide in your life, it means that you have become the church of devil. If the breast, the spiritual breast or milk that you are sucking, Doing it is good one, it means that you will get mature. The third world told us that. 
ni mi do kuru na pam bo mo do ezivi for you have tasted the kindness of the lord and you see that it's uh, very tasty ni mi do ma u pon un go bo mo da ma u vivi if you test the lord and you find out that he is very, uh, seriously tasty mi bo se po e mi bo se po kuru na jesu mi se po e come closer to the lord come to him mi se po e ta idi o se Come closer to the Lord like that living stone. Oso ogbeno jiwo yawe ton de gbe to le gbe dran. That living stone that people rejected. Bo jiwo yawe ka je hen di o se akwe gege nu. And God keep it as a chosen and a precious stone. Ni agba yinan, gbogbo agbigbidi wa ma do alode mi, gbe tole na gbe won na o. If you reject completely sinning, different sins and you want you don't want to sin at all, people will hate you. Ni amana je nu gura wa gbe tole na gbe won na o. If you want to hide any one of them, people will hate you she we are can i we do yi o me etan the lord will receive you as his friend do me he gbe to le gbe lo bo e ka na te to nu ko se o tan ma wu tu e gbe wu e yin me ma wu tan to ayi ho me because the one who rejected for the sake of that that he was firm in the lord scripture belong to the lord mi se po jesus christ come closer to jesus christ o se gba ton lo the living stone de gba ton le no gbe rejected by men but you were cause he had so akwe gege nu but in god's sight chosen and precious Atantodo The five verse said Mi ule la su You yourself de yin oso gbeton Who constitutes the living stones Mi ni yipona opon de mi na do lesun o ho gbigboton Receive instruction build up yourself into a spiritual house o kun e na le mezun o we gbigba ton na jiwe yawe mi ni yipun lo let us receive the education the instruction that will transform us as a spiritual house let us receive this one de na do ayi ni do yin o we gbigba ton that will be set up in order to be a spiritual house a holy priesthood na meni mo ten do no san afo gbigboton afo gbigboton de na vi ki pon ma o do pon jesus christ ji in order to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to god through jesus christ a fo gbigboton mi na no san mi wo fo wi we ju e ton le na no san fo gbigboton bo jesus christ ji ha o kru no wa fo mi ton anya loke yi you who constitute a spiritual house let offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to god through jesus christ it will be accepted and received e gbe so e gbe so mi no san a fo gbigboton from time to time we offer sacrifices spiritually speaking this is what we call hymns that we address to the lord different spiritual songs that we address to the lord clapping clapping in order to celebrate the lord playing different drums 
and bow down and ask for things before God. Here are spiritual sacrifices. And the, and the tithe and the alms that we give voluntary. Such are the things that the Lord accepted in Jesus Christ's name. What? Everything we have been doing from the bottom of our heart, spiritually speaking, that the Lord forbid to do and we respect it, all those things are accepted by God. If we have one of those five things forbidden to put away in our life and we do any good things, it is rejected. Are we fasting? Are we celebrating the Lord? Are we serving the Lord? Are we praying? Everything is rejected. For what reason? It doesn't come from deep and the spiritual heart. From a place that there are division and uh, groups and doing things contrary to the commandment of God, nothing happened. But if you are united doing things in His name, while celebrating Him, God will be very pleased and he poured down his blessing on each of us. Verse 6 said, For it says in scriptures that, Behold, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and he who believes in him will not be put to shame. I set up a, a stone in Zion. For the whole world. And uh, everyone who believes in him, he won't be put to shame at all. The unique stone set up by the Lord for everyone is Jesus Christ. If another one sprout out or get out, it is that one that is a liar. Nubala. The truth it is abide in Jesus Christ. Lalola. Liar. Other people that show up after the arrival of Jesus Christ, this one alludes to liars. Let everyone who has heart to understand, to understand. Those who are not intelligent, let them keep so. Those who are not intelligent, let them keep so. 
Melanagan. The stone is the unique one, and everyone, he who believes in that stone, set up for the whole world, will be saved. Verse 7 told us that. Yaila, etina mehu mehe yishele. To you, therefore, who believe, he is a precious. Yailo, you deserve honor, you who believe in Jesus Christ. But, for those who do not believe, it has written upon them that. The very stone which the builders rejected has become the head of a corner. And it becomes a stone that will make them stumble and it becomes a rock that will make them fall. Glory be to Jesus Christ in the heaven. If, if you rejected Jesus Christ, you will stumble. After stumbling, you will fall down. You, constructors, you, heavenly builders, those ones seeking for the everlasting life, God set up only one God. His name is Jesus Christ. That's why the Lord commanded to spread, to propagate that name throughout the whole universe. He who accepted will be saved. He who rejected will be destroyed. Verse 8 said, they stumble against that stone because they don't believe in him. The whole universe stumble because they don't receive the stone, Jesus. And they were destined to do that one. They are set for this kind of destiny, for this kind of faith, after receiving, after rejecting the God's, Lord's commandment and uh, everything concerning his doctrine, they will go straight to the fire. Verse 9 said, Mulelo. About you now, concerning you, you are a chosen race, a chosen nation, because you listen to his gospel and you receive it, you don't stumble against this stone. You have become a chosen nation. And become a royal priesthood. And the verse become a holy nation. The nation that has been received, redeemed by price. 
dagbe de to me ke yiro mi son zin vlume wa hin ho da ho eto meton that you may declare the wonderful deeds of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light mi ya gba wiwe you are the holy priesthood akota wiwe holy nation akota ye fligo the redeemed people na mini mo te do la dagbe he to jesus christ me iro mi son zin vlume wa hin ho da ho e ton ton meton in order to preach the wonderful deeds of him who called you out from darkness into light mile de tin da yi you who once you were no people bo ma yin mede to jiwe awe nu kan and you were nothing before the lord bo din fe but right now mi we lesun o me o kru na tan it's you who have become very important Milade mama lebla no yi da yi you who you who didn't receive mercy before but din fi mi ka mama lebla no yi but now you have received mercy mi mama lebla no yi da yi din fi mi mama lebla no yi to jesus ma we were not we we had not received mercy before but in the lord jesus christ we have received mercy We should recognize yourself as chosen one, as elected. In order to preach, in order to declare the good deeds of the Lord to the whole world. Some people came to Jesus in the past time. They were Jesus today. When they showed up before Jesus Christ, it said at that time that Jesus do devi canton. Jesus Christ had 130 Edo devi canton. He got 130 disciples. Ni e ka wa de. If they came to him, ye do ho After he spoke to them, if they didn't understand anything, at the moment they should ask questions, as Peter, they never ask questions. After leaving Jesus, they will call one another. Oh, listen to what our uh, boss said. We do what they need. This is what he said. Is it who who are the, who have been who can who can stay who can practice this? I can't follow this. After criticizing big ball. They were taken up by the spirit that should let the teacher let the savior boy you are and they gathered we jesus mo devier tan wiya we le ye me ko tin afoso gbe pour petwa ede and jesus found all his 12 disciples ready at his foot me plan plan di ele me no do do me go do ko shan do do me go e hu ayira ye me ko wa ile ko so jesus christ go do All the other numerous disciples they were haunted by slandering giving mockery criticizing and this one put them sent them away from Jesus Christ And Jesus asked question to the 12 disciples For what reason have you come here Why don't you go away as the other? Ye da hunle ramu. They told him, Oh ho gbe ton e to dewe. Menu de mi le na so yi. It's by you 
that abides the living word, to whom can we go now? The living word abide by you, to whom can we go? Those who found Jesus Christ and recognize what he is really, they stay, they are firm by him, but those who don't receive him, those who don't find him, they criticize, started telling, do, doing other bad things, and they go away. When it happened in that sense, Jesus answered them, Wasn't I who dedicate a point to you, all of twelve? And one among you is the devil. One among you is the devil. Jesus preached a very important preaching upon the life. And they ask him questioning, is it I? Is it I? Till the one hunted by the, the devil put fingers on his shoulder and said, was it I? And Jesus replied saying, yeah, you certify it. Gancho. Nevertheless, he didn't awake. He didn't get up spiritually to think. Those one by whom the devil transit once before the gospel of God they won't accept anything, they won't respect anything, they will be there slandering, criticizing from house to house, then doing bad things. For the reason why we gathered in order to reach the kingdom of God, they won't go to that place at all. If they were clever and understood things before, once Peter said, was it I? And Jesus didn't reply. And the second person said, was I? And Jesus didn't reply. And uh, he in his turn said, was it I? And Jesus said that you have certified it. He should find the cause, the reason for which he has become devil in order to be saved. But he didn't care at all. Contrary, it is at that moment he lied down on the bosom of Jesus. He, he make as if he loved too much Jesus Christ than the others. And Jesus said that but everything they offer to Jesus Christ as gift or goods, he is behind this one, waging war against this one, having desire upon it, till he lost his life. One among you 
is devil. After acting, acting, don't you see his final point? Is it there a good Christian finalize his life as he did? If you allow one of those five things that we cited, we quoted before, abide in your life, it means that the devil abide in you and you can't get in that kingdom coming. How many understood the message? How many understood? I asking question. Who are those who don't understand? Let those who don't understand raise up their hands. So you understand clearly. So, so we have found everything, all those things that can defile, destroy our life through those five things quoted by Peter through his letter. Put away all malice, all the guile, all hypocrisy and sincerity, envy, and different slanders. So, you will be saved. Do not forget at all. Do you still have one in your life? Oh, Just one. Oh, Judas, it's only one. Desire, desire. And that brings him death. One also kills Ananias and Sapphira. They offer gift to the Lord and they reduce again. Don't you give and you reduce? Only one plague, only one evil things bring about death to people. If you continue having one, it's not good. But if you are very safe in it, you are blessed. You are blessed in the Christ. And all those who behave in that good way, they are also blessed. May Jesus Christ bless each of us.
The Lord, his message has been set out. What is your need? What is your desire in order to make progression on his, on his way? Ask from him. Are you persecuted by a disease? Is it a misery, poverty? When you sleep, you are oppressed. Pray. Set all. May Jesus bless each of you. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Let be. Let's pray on behalf of our different friends that are abroad. Be very white men and also African. In different languages and nations. Let Jesus open his eyes upon them. And heal them and baptize them with his Holy Spirit and give them gifts and bless them massively in order to raise up, make progress the word of God and uh, be spread throughout the whole world in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Almighty God, in Jesus Christ's name, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ now, all those who show up to listen to your gospel, bless, uh, bless them all. Peace, blessing, healing, blessing, Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Gift of the Holy Spirit. Provide them with all they need to work for you. Listen to our prayers, Lord. Let not them be poor. Remember your promise to open the heavenly windows to pave the way for them as it is very hard. Listen to our prayers. Operate your miracles. In Jesus Christ's name, our Savior. Amen.
Thank you.